Hi, it's Lori Hawk with Elga Credit Union, working with you to make you financially fit. Today, we're gonna to talk about wealth building. This can be used mostly for retirement, but you can use it for other purposes as well. I really like to use this with young youngsters, maybe 18 to 25 years old, but even if you're not young, the concept is still true for somebody who is older. And for me, I'm a 44 year old, I have children who are in that age range. I have a 20 year old and a 16 year old. So it's helpful for, for me to explain to them how compounding interest works over time and why it is so important to start wealth building at a young age. So if not for you, learn this to help your children. So I don't like to put things in straight stock. That's a little scary because it's risky and you could lose all of your money. But what we wanna talk about today is a mutual fund. A mutual fund is an investment program funded by shareholders that trades in diversified holdings and is professionally managed. So diversified is a range of stocks that are all grouped together. So what happens is you're not investing in one company, but rather many altogether. Is it possible for a mutual fund to dip and go down in the market? Absolutely. Does it also go up? Yes. I've had some really good years where I've made the very highest I ever made was about 24%. The lowest I ever made on a mutual fund was in the negatives. I went backward. I lost some money. But the average over time for me has always remained steady. The average over time for the United States and all stocks since they began is 12%. That's a really good return over a long period of time. Now, if you only have a couple years to invest, do you want to bank on getting a for sure 12%? No. But over time, if you start and you have time on your side, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, for those who are 18, you might have a full 50 years. Time is on your side. You have a lot of time for that 12% average to be true for you and help you compound that interest. So compounding interest is when the addition of interest to the principal sum of your deposit amounts, or in other words, you get interest on top of interest. So leaving it alone and putting it away. That's why it works so well for a retirement fund. So over time, because mutual funds have earned an average of 12%, I've used this calculation of 12% on the average that I'm gonna show you. So in this first example, I'd like to talk about somebody who's young, just starting out. So maybe it's you, you're that young one of between 18 and 25 years old. If not, remember, you can use this example for somebody who's in that age range, who you're trying to help understand the, the concept of compounding interest. So if somebody who were young, let's say 18 years old, took $150 every single month, I know that sounds like a lot for an 18 year old, but when you put it in the grand scheme of things, that's less than $40 a week. And if you could get somebody at the age of 18 to work anywhere from 10 to 20 hours a week in the summer or even during the school year, that's really not that much to say I'm putting $40 aside, it's a little more than a tank of gas and I'm not going to touch it ever. That's their little savings plan. So $150 every single month would gain $1,800 for an entire year, putting it away. So after one year, $1,800 is there ready to make that initial open of a mutual fund. But the key to opening a mutual fund is that you gotta continually be putting toward it. Nobody wants to open a fund and then have nothing there because the management fees will cost more than what it's worth. But if you're continuing to put money away on a monthly basis, we're gonna say for this example, 150 is gonna stay steady. So that 18 year old puts away 1800 in the first year at 150 a month. Year two, the same. Year three, the same. All the way for eight years. So that eight year, 18 year old took that 150 a month all the way from 18 years old till 25 for an eight year period of time investing $150 a month, they would have only put away $14,400. By the time that 18 year old was ready for retirement, look at this example. 
they've put away $14,400. But what they've gotten in return is when they turn 67 years old and they're ready for retirement, they have $2.5 million put away for retirement. That is an, a lot of money to be able to retire on. And that's if they only put away $14,400 by the time they turn 25. By the time they reach retirement age of 67 to 68 years old, they would have two and a half million dollars. That's what happens when you put away a lump sum early and let it just sit. Because over time, what happens is they're able to earn a lot of interest. And then they earn interest the next month and the next year on the interest. And that goes to be true. Now, I only did this example alone to show you the key part in this. Typically, somebody wouldn't stop saving after eight years. But in this example, I had it stop just to show you that $2.5 million, the majority of it is just all interest. That's how much interest could be built over time because they started early. Realistically, somebody who is 18, if they could put $150 away from the time they were 18 till the time they were 25, they probably wouldn't stop. Let me show you what could happen if they didn't stop. So they put that $150 away every single month until they retired. So the age of 18 all the way until they hit 67 years old, they would have put away money for 50 years and earn interest for 50 years. Instead of putting away $14,400, their investment at $1,800 a year is $90,000. In the end, they would have $4.3 million to spend in retirement. What would happen in retirement? They would move that $4.3 million to something like, let's say an annuity. An annuity will not make them the 12%. An annuity would probably make them maybe five or 6%, but that would be plenty of money to live on in retirement, just living off their interest. That 4.5 or $4.3 million would sit there in their annuity and they would never touch it. And they could live very fine off of the interest they made every single month and just take that monthly draw. Now, you might be sitting there in this video right now thinking, wow, if only I could be 18 years old again. I know, I'm with you. I didn't start saving $150 a month when I was 18 because I was spending it on clothes and some other things like that. And I was thinking about college. I was thinking about my first home and things like that. And I thought I was responsible thinking about a home. But if I could turn the tables, I too would have put off the home a little bit more to get my 401k or retirement plan started even earlier. That's the thing I would be doing different. That's why I want to make sure that people who are 18 know the opportunities that they have and they're passing by. So it's okay if you never started there. Let's say someone didn't get started until they were 28 years old. That's okay. The thing is, is you still have a little bit of time because 28 is still not that old. So a 28 year old would put away, let's say the same amount, $150 a month. And they would do that from the age of 28 all the way until 67, getting ready for their 68th birthday. So they would, they would have 40 years to put money away. And over time, they would put away $77,000. When they retire, they would have, that's right, $1.3 million, $1,380,000. Where else can you put away $77,000 and have a return of $1.3 million, almost $1.4 million? That's amazing. That's a lot. Now, you won't have as much to live on in retirement, 1.3. You'd have to live off of that interest, which would be considerably lower than the $4 million we were just talking about. But the thing that would still help is that you would put that in an annuity and that 5 or 6% interest that you would earn on that 
could be what you'd live on in retirement. Now, let's say you're sitting there thinking, ooh, I'm older than 28. That's okay. I've given an example for you too. Let's say somebody didn't start until they were 36 years old, but they still wanted to hit, let's say that 1.3 or $1.4 million threshold. To be able to do that, I'm sorry to tell you because you started a little later, you can still make it, but you can't put away just $150 a month. You would have had to have started at a younger age to do that. So if you're starting at a later age, the amount that you're going to have to put away monthly is going to be increased. So to get the 1.3 to 1.4 million, you'd have to be putting away $400 every single month from your 36th birthday until your 67th year getting ready to retire around that 68 years old mark. You would have $1.4 million with your compounding interest over time, which is still not bad because you've only put away $153,600, but you still have that $1.4 million. So basically, I'm trying to show you that had you put away when you were at 28, it would have only have been $77,000 that you put away. But when you start at age 36, you can still get that amount you're just putting away double. Your investment over the time period of time would be $153,000. $153, and you're still gonna get yourself to that $1.4 million. Now, for some of you who are thinking, what about the employers? Shouldn't they help a little bit too? Well, absolutely. I always have looked for an employer who would contribute and help me out with my retirement fund my entire life. And I have an employer who does that. I hope that when you're looking at who you want to work for, you make sure that they're helping to make an investment into you as well. So let's say that somebody worked for somebody who gave them a 3% match. That doesn't mean you only have to put 3% of your income away to get their 3%. You can still put away 6%, 9%, 10% of your income and take their 3%. But when you find a company who will offer you 5 6 seven, or even 10%, that's a smart company to work for because their matching funds to your matching funds is going to be a bigger investment that you can put away and make you even more money. So let me give you an example of an employer who would maybe put away 10% to your 10%. I've given this example for maybe the person leaving college. At age 21, they found themselves that $50,000 job and they're gonna get a 2.5% increase of salary every single year until they retire. So that $50,000, they put away 10%, which is $5,000. Their employer also puts away 10% for them, which is $5,000. Now, putting away 10% of their income and the employer helping to put away 10% as well, by the time that person who's 21 years old retires at the age of 67 years old, they would have put away or saved over $11 million for retirement. That is a lot of money. And half of the investment that was put away was put away by the employer, which was a big help, a big boost. Had you been doing 10% of the income all by yourself, you'd have half that amount, which is five to five and a half million. But when your employer is putting away money for you as well, that five million turns into 11 because they've been putting that money away and putting it away as you did at the age you did, which meant all that money compounded on interest as well. So the moment I want you to reflect on is that no matter how old you are today, waiting till next year is making you another year older, which means another year not to compound that interest. So start today. If you've already started, do not take any withdrawals or loans from that money. Leave it put and let that money compound in interest over time so that you can be a millionaire and retire with ease. Even if something happens with our Social Security Fund someday and you can't take anything from it, you'll have your own retirement fund that you built that'll be ready to work for you. That's another financial moment with Lori Hawk at Alga Credit Union. Continue watching more videos 
to make sure you're financially fit. We're